Hello again, everybody. This is the Redstoners. Today it's going to be me, Alex. Um, I'm coming at you guys with a new uh, modding tutorial video, installation tutorial video, and I haven't made a video in a really long time. So I think this you guys will like this mod. It's a really small mod, really simple, but someone asked me to do it. So here I'm, I'm going to do it. Um, and also, 1.8 pre-release came out. I was I was thinking of doing a the 1.8 pre-release, like you know, showing all the new features 1.8 but since it's not really officially out yet I'm gonna uh, do it when it comes out like when it officially comes out so sorry about that guys but um thanks for all you guys subscribers I we have um, 100 subscribers now 100 plus 112 or th something like that so thanks guys so much keep subscribing don't forget to comment rate subscribe so um let's get started so today the mods called timber mod and it's um a timber mod and basically what it is, it's a really cool mod. Basically, if you have a tree and you start like uh, chopping down the tree, well you don't have to you have to chop down every single block of the tree of the like the wood. Well it's kinda annoying. I mean it does, it's a really small thing, but whatever. So one thing that's really cool with this mod is basically when you hit the bottom one, like you chop down the bottom uh, part of the tree, all the blocks fall and that's really cool. It's it's like an actual timber, so it's like a cactus when you hit it. So this is a really small, simple mod, easy to install. So, quick video. Let's get started. Um, I've already opened up all the pages that you need to do this, and got all the links. And I'll put those in the description because my internet's really slow, so I don't want to. I don't want to take the video time up. So yeah, I think it's his name's Te Crush. Yeah, I guess that's what it is. But I couldn't really find it on Google, so it was kind of hard. It's like near the bottom of the page, so I'll put it in the description. So basically. You want to scroll all the way down when you get to this page. All the way down. He's got a lot of mods. There we go. Timber. Following up from my Falling Trees mod, Timber makes all the logs in our tree break when you hit the bottom block of the tree with an axe of any type. So, it's really cool. So basically, you want to go down, and it's going to be right there. Download. So what we're going to need is we're going to need the Timber mod itself. I already have that downloaded, so you're going to download that. And it should bring you to this uh, AdFly page. Your ads may look a little different. <laughs> but um so you're gonna do skip ad and it should start downloading so and also another thing we need is Rigasami's mod loader mod, ah, mod loader sorry and there's also a link there I'll put a, a link for it to, in the description so you can do ad fly or direct if you go to ad fly you just do skip ad should start downloading so there you guys have it you should have timber mod uh, downloaded and mod loader downloaded and it should be 1.7.3 and that one doesn't say whatever all right so let's get started um so you're going to want to um go to your downloads i think it pops up you want to um unzip these two this timber um r2.zip file you should get a folder modloader.zip file as well so once you get those um let me show you what to do so if you guys are running um uh osx snow leopard it's gonna be a lot easier for you guys, but it's it's still pretty easy. So basically, you're gonna want to go to your um your username. Mine's Rios right here. So you wanna go to your username, and you're gonna uh, find there's gonna be a folder in here called Library. Select that, and just wait there for a second for Snow Lep uh, um crap uh OSX Lion users. You wanna go to the top up here, top of your Finder thing, the menu bar. It says Go, and someone gave me this really cool tip. If you if you hold Option. It shows the, the library folder that we need, so you just press it. So you see, pops up. So hold Option and then press Library. Should bring you there. So both both uh, users should look like this right now. So now we're gonna go to Application Support, and then if we if you're at the top, you should scroll down a little, go down to Minecraft, which is down here, and you should get to this Minecraft folder. So yours is gonna look I mean a lot different from mine because I have a lot of different things installed, a lot of mods. So, but it doesn't really matter. All you need is the bin folder to the top. So double click that. And then you're going to see all these .jar files. The only jar file that you need is minecraft.jar. And yours is going to, like, your folder is going to look a little different because I have world edit.jar at the bottom. You don't need that. So minecraft.jar, what you're going to do, um, I think for, uh, for um, Snow Leopard users, they use archive utility. Um, I don't. I think this works for both. I mean, use archive utility. Um, it doesn't work for OSX Lion anymore. So, for both users, I guess you're gonna wanna um, 
select like then rename it to Minecraft jar but then you're gonna put at the very end dot zip so minecraft jar dot zip and then it's gonna ask you you want to use zip and you say yes and it should make it minecraft jar dot zip double click it opens it up and it should make a minecraft jar file and uh, what you're gonna to do is you're gonna take off that dot zip from the end of it use the jar oh sorry all right so what you're gonna do so we're going to rename this to whatever you want. I just mean my I make mine backup. Backup. And now you're going to take off the zip file. There we go. Use jar. There we go. So we got our jar back. So all we need is a minecraft.jar now. So before we start modding it and installing, uh, press M, which brings you down to the m.class files. And you're going to see a folder called meta.inf. Open that up and just delete all those files in there. It's fine. There you go. You don't really have to delete the whole folder. So now we can start modding. Um, you're going to want to um, open up a new finder window. Oh, sorry. Oh, there we go. New finder window. And you're going to go to your downloads, get those folders. So we're just going to do mod loader first, get all those files, select them all, copy them all, and it should be 15 items to copy. Just Command C. And we're going to go back to our other finder window. And we're going to paste them in. Very simply. And it's going to ask us, do you want to apply to all? You're going to press apply to all. Check that box and then replace. There you go. And then now for the uh, timber mod itself. It's really simple. You're going to open up the file like I just did. Open it up. Just You don't really need the readme. It just tells you what to do. And you don't need that. You just need the Minecraft folder. Open that up. And you'll see two dot class files. Copy those and go back to that other window and then paste the items in and it's done. So basically, we're done modding it. Pretty easy, like I said, easier than the other ones. Um, we're going to open up our Minecraft and if you guys haven't already updated 1.7, do that. So let's log in and see if it worked. Pretty sure it worked. Let's see. All right, so once it gets past that black screen, the Mojang symbol, we're fine. I'm just do a quick run of the uh, the actual mod itself. Maybe a little laggy for a second. All right, let's get our diamond X. And I actually noticed this, but it takes a little longer to chop down the thing because you're chopping them all down. So here it goes. So you're gonna want to chop down the bottom one. And see, it takes a it's pretty long time. Not that not too long. But as you can see, it all falls down. All those blocks. That was really simple and quick. I'm actually going to keep this mod, I'm not going to lie, it's a pretty good mod, it's pretty cool. So, um, I'm sorry I forgot the guy's name that wanted me to do this video. Um, thanks for asking me because this is an actually really cool mod. So thanks guys, um, hope you guys liked the video, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching guys, bye.